onto the tournaments and actually go the distance to uh, yeah take it take it all potentially. Yeah. Um, players here making sure to get their music and their audio correct here. Yeah, Rico's got his own yeah, for in, sure in little box for his little his little headset, I see. Yeah, and I also want to mention like Geeky Goon Squad out here with the production, super nice mm. all around. Like the entire event has just been so smoothly run, both by Phoenix Blue and Geeky Goon Squad. So I'm actually super happy to see uh, or be a part of that and being part of the stream experience like this. Mm. Uh, and everything has just been run so professionally. So shout outs to Geeky Goon Squad there. Yeah. Plenty of uh, pl plenty of um, production crew have been working uh, day and night to keep it all running smoothly. So it's good. Yeah, good to see. <laughs> I remember saying to one of the TOs before I left yesterday, like, oh, have a have a good night's sleep. And then I changed <laughs> and it to... And they were like, lol, I'm yeah. not sleeping. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and I changed it to, oh, uh, well, at least try. He's like, okay, I'll yeah. try. <laughs> Whether or not that happens is a, is a very different story. That's true. Uh, okay. So we're getting get almost set up here. He's not, well, at least wear the headphones if you're going to put them on, mate. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has to hear the other player. You know, to, uh, he hears through his neck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the the winner of this game will face either Whoopi or Vision. That's also a really nice game. Yeah, 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 Shido is in the winner's side as well. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, and, and actually, uh, 3 0 Wiasa from Nord Nordavin. That's yeah, that's really interesting. I, I was hoping to see him in winners, but because uh, I've been kind of curious to his gameplay, but well, he's still alive in losers then. Mm. Um, but yeah, yeah, okay. Sir Shiga and Rico coming up here next. Let's see what they kind of pull out for from their bags to uh, I would I want to say that I mean it's really tough I mean was, I saw Sir Shy Guy practicing inkling earlier today so maybe he's getting ready with an inkling specifically um, but I wouldn't be surprised if the, if the Isabel came out there it is ooh okay um, Isabel Cloud <laughs> I'm excited I'm excited this is going to be good like, I mean <laughs> when you think like this this is the beauty of smash right mm. on paper this should not be a good time for the Isabel right I've got, you know, you've got a Gucci wearing dog versus, you know, <laughs> a leather clad anime boy. I don't know what's going on. Like, uh, oh my god. Sure. Yeah, well, uh, I'm excited for this one. I do really want to see what Sir, Ga uh, Sir, Sir Shy Guy sorry, is going to show with this Isabel. Indeed. <laughs> Has a lot of like crazy recoveries and just. It's all about kind of uh, getting that distance and uh, getting some chip damage in to finally get the stocks. Yeah. But. Uh, Let's see if Rico will actually allow that. Mm. Yeah, Rico just doing the usual kind of kind of cloud stuff, you know, <laughs> acting very, very, very quickly out of shield and punishing as best he, he, he can. Mm. Um, the, the limit is on deck, though. Of course, for you, if you're newish to cloud mechanics in Ultimate, um, li limit is not until you use it in this game. It does eventually run out, so it forces the usages. Yeah, the, um, and the rocket actually tanked that limit. That, that's mm. that's one of the things that's just like, oh, I haven't seen that before. That's, that's not looking good for Glued. Okay, he gets back using the uh, air dodge very nicely. The sweet spot down there, though, spiking so shy guy. Yeah. This is just Isabel things. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one of the things that you have to mention about Cloud is the recovery is not that nice, but Isabel's... What? Just as I say that, like Isabel has a lot of recovery, but that has to be some uh, a mistake there. Very unfortunate. Well, okay, he, and replies with a mistake of his own, but yeah, goes out, goes out a little bit, a little bit too far. Jump gets taken, and unfortunately, don't mash jump when you're being comboed by uh, someone off stage, please. Not, not, not the best idea. Mm. The uh, Klim Hazard there, the, the uh, shockwave on landing. Yeah, definitely. But as, as I was saying, like, yes, Isabel, you do want to keep some distance, but uh, Sir Shy Guy is actually staying really close to this cloud, going for those neutral airs a lot. And uh, I, I feel like it's a bit risky, but if you, if you can pull it off, if you can do those reads, then for sure do it. All right, now limits back on to cloud here. Has to stay away for a bit. No, nothing to tank this time, so... He, See if he can do it, but it's all about the mix-ups too with the with so limit. Oh. Okay, very nice. Gets a turnaround uh, limit cross slash, but does not take the stock just yet. Low enough percent that it's not it's not that strong anymore. Mm. <laughs> no, exactly. That's forward smash grabs uh, hits the shield, does not break it though, and Sir Shy Guy's going off the great the uh, the jump is saved very very intelligently there. Mm. Watch out for that fishing rod. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, way more scary than <laughs> one would think. Like, oh, this is Oh, wonderful charge and the forward smash to catch the spot dodge and unleashes for a stock. Yeah, very nice. Ooh. Sends that dog flying. I think 
Yeah, this game is all about kind of finding your way in and seeing what the other player has to offer. Oh, okay, be that... Fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. Yeah. Ooh, got nice. a bit scared for that other stock there, but... Yeah, very nice with that up with the up tilt to catch the roll on and then just getting that spacing and timing right to get the up air. Mm. But now they're both pretty much on the like similar percentage here going into this final stock situation. And okay, air dodges towards him. That's a bit risky, but he goes for it anyways. No, very very confident place I would say from Sir Shy Guy so far. Uh, use it, it's gone. Yeah. It's gone, he didn't use it. No. Sometimes it's hard to, sometimes you just, I mean, I guess in those scenarios, you know, it's just better just to let it go sometimes because you can't really make anything of it. Yeah, I think, and also the pressure, like uh, having that limit available but not using it, you still can get a lot of uh, stage control. Oh! <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> Sir Shy Guy jumped at the wrong timing and that sweet spot comes out and that will be the first game over to Rico. Yeah, well, right, mate. Yeah, all right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. Check you out with your cloud. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's the best out of five. Come on, we have, we have a few games left. <laughs> no, but that that was good. I think uh, for like both both this set and previous one is just about waking up and getting back into the games here. Uh, mm. But uh, really interesting that that Isabel was doing a lot better than I think Isabel would do uh, against the cloud, but. I think it's all about patience as well. Like, mm -hmm. since you don't have that many options when it comes to like range, uh, range attacks. But mm. yeah, here we go. As we say that, we have something new, at least for this time around. The inkling. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that he was necessarily struggling specifically with the um, with the matchup so far. Like he was doing no. a good job. Yeah, yeah. Um, may but maybe it's just one of those things where he tried it. He was, it wasn't feeling right for him, and he knows he can do a better job with a different character or a quote unquote better character. Sure. Um, so the inkling's coming out. Mm. Let's see if that practice paid off earlier. Yeah, already covering Cloud up with this uh, with this color, which is really uh, important too. Just kind of how you handle that ink and uh, manage that. But yeah, I think this is going to be <laughs> a bit easier in in some cases, you would say, uh, in this matchup. But definitely for sure, he was doing good as Isabel. But sometimes you just have to be real and just kind of recognize that. Okay, maybe if I use this other character, this will go way better. So, mm -hmm. let me on deck once again. He's gonna maybe throw out a blade beam, perhaps. Oh, there's come the cross slash to try and catch the jump on, but a little bit too late it felt. Um. Yeah, sometimes you just have to like. Sometimes the mix-up can also be to just actually uh, go for it super early. Like as soon as you get the limit, you, you you think that the other like you think the cloud will actually keep it for a while, but then you just throw it up as soon as you get it, and that can really be a good mix-up. Nice. Indeed. Dash dancing very, very nicely. That gets okay, nice little trade. They both go off stage. So Shiga recovers. Nice and simple. Um, and yeah, you can just see Rico, you know, just like being a presence so consistently. Unfortunately, the Klim Hazard in neutral <laughs> lands it straight into a brush hit, so not really, um, yeah. not really the best, uh, the best option there. But yeah, he was throwing out these options, consistently being just a menace and a presence near the edge of the stage, um, which is what Cloud tend to do. You know, Cloud has got a lot of good options, like a lot of strong hits, um, and something to respect. You know. Definitely, and uh, I mean he did. He's not letting up. Like he can't make it back into the stage. Like as Rico is playing like this, uh, he's just covering so many options and just not like letting him get back to the stage. It's so good play right now. Mm. Oh, yeah. and you can see his like patience and just waiting, just waiting for um, Sir Shagai to make a move. Then eventually, just kind of like throws out an option, mm. and it, it may not do anything immediately, but it does kind of like suspend. So shy guy for a moment, take away his momentum, make him you know slow down, and if, if he's trying to keep keep the pace up. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful plays by Rico here, uh, and he does have the limit. I think he would like to use it as soon as possible to just kind of rack ooh, up some ooh. percentage. But the game, <gasps> whoa, okay, that was interesting. Like every time Cloud goes off stage, especially under the stage, that's a dangerous situation, especially against. Uh, an inkling of all of all things, like the best recoveries yeah. that you can imagine. Dash attack knock, so I got off stage, but we charged a little bit too long. Maybe underestimated the length of that fair. Those feet, or those legs rather, despite being quite short, go a long way. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, nice, you know, you know, using the uh, the bomb to kind of force a jump over and then waiting with a brush for landing, but maybe a little bit too far back. Nice. I felt like sweet spot on that back air. Mm. 
Yeah, definitely one of the strongest tools, or stronger tools at least in Ultimate for Cloud is just going for the, fishing for those back airs, like short hop back air. Uh, a lot of the times it's, it feels very safe and you can get a lot of mileage out of that. Uh, and he like, he's in a very good position right now. If he can get this uh, limit even, that would be like the perfect situation for him. Perfect scenario. But he goes for the grab instead and just gets more stage control. That's, that's also fine. Mm. Mixing it up with the recoveries as well, even with clouds. Oh my god, like, Ooh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I really, really, yeah, just going out there and you're getting the, uh, the, I guess, the edge guard, you know, that he wants. For sure, and I do think, I mean, it's still looking great for him. I think he just needs to be patient and not let up right now. Mm, just yeah. keep that stage control. Make yeah. sure that he doesn't give anything away. We saw many times yesterday people getting a bit flustered, letting things get out of hand, and now yeah. Oh, yeah. he does have the limit though available. Yeah, but I mean the thing, uh, I don't know. Like the, the recovery from from in, from inkling so good, but, you know, you, you kind of like you kind of forget just like how well it can do it. Yeah, getting back to you were saying earlier how you know when clouds off stage, it's really really risky. But wonderful back roll into forward smash there to finish that first well that first game for Sir Shy Guy. Um, it's kind of nuts when you see kind of like limit Klim has come out as well because yeah. like it, it's one of those things that cloud recovery isn't so great mm. but it has this depth to it mm. and it has this versatility where when you'd say for the first point you know that oh yeah it is exploitable yeah. you can't get back but then this is why some people do hold on or at least especially when it came to Smash 4 why holding on to the limit and having it consistently mm. was such an important thing to it because mm. you know he just he was just safe it was like I've got limit I've got uh, I've got like a safety net you know, exactly here. yeah and so I think that's a massive change to him, especially from a defensive angle. Mm. Yeah, it, it really keeps him kind of more dynamic in that sense, that he has to move around and keep that timer in his head. Uh, but oh, so okay. Shy Guy's just like, here's all the characters, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, I think he was kind Ooh. of asking about the character picks, um, in what order that happens, but okay two new characters. This is interesting because we were talking about it yesterday of like the desperation move of uh, switching to a character in the last game, but there's also the other thing where you kind of figure each other out, you keep switching up and actually learn more about the other player and mm. that's what we definitely see here from Sir Shy Guy who has just been uh, showing <laughs> like all of his mains I would guess now at this yeah. point, like does he have several? <laughs> I mean where's the me gunner right? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, it's one of those things as well, like, you know, it was interesting of, you know, you know, Sir Shy Guy make, makes his, his change, so Rico changes uh, accordingly. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we were talking earlier about having a multiple mains, the really important thing, it's, it's coming to life here, um, where, you know, you've got all of these characters, you know, available, so, you know, so Rico's like, oh, dang, a, P a, a Pichu, I'll bring out a Lucina because she's, she's strong. Yeah. Oh, I feel better in that matchup about it. Nice, forward smash, and that is... It for the little guy. <laughs> oh, we got the, the styling with the dash dance there. Uh, I like it. Uh, but yeah, for sure, Lucina is one of those characters who can just like bat Pichu right out of the sky. And as we know with Pichu, it's all about just uh, being patient because uh, if you just stay out of Pichu's way, <laughs> Pichu will just actually damage himself enough so you can kill him if you stay uh, out of his way for uh, yeah. as long as possible, at least. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, okay, that's not going to be enough spot dodges, but the multi-hit comes out anyways with the smash attack. Yeah, it's a disgustingly strong move as well, you yeah. know. For sure. Um, I do... Yeah, <laughs> it is like Pichu is such a crazy character. Like the movement and the speed of it is just like... It's really hard to keep up. And even with Lucina, which is a really solid character that can bat Pichu away Ooh. with the moment's notice. Yeah, I think but maybe he was expecting a roll, perhaps a roll in, or, when, or maybe he just went too far out for the actual uh, neutral get up. There is a spike to sweet spot. Oh. Sir Shy Guy takes the lead. Fantastic stuff. Uh, no, no. <laughs> And okay. there is the uh, the raw F smash into a very weak Pichu, <laughs> and it's evened up again. Yeah. So we're getting the up tilts, up airs, up airs. Uh, not going for the uh, the lightning loop. Oh my God, the strings are real. They don't do that much percentage, but you can get some really nice strings out with Pichu, especially at lower percentage. Just yeah, and, and it's definitely a mental aspect of that of just being like stuck in a combo you can't get out of for like a million years, yeah. regardless of if it's you know 40 or 60 percent, you know. Yeah, and that probably was something that he thought about when he picked this stage. You know, going into Battlefield, getting those ladder combos, uh, or strings at least, with Pichu. Very nice damage. 
Oh, and it, oh, this is looking good now for him. Oh, but nice not timing, but yeah. great decision to go up and over to the stage. Yeah, this could go either way between these two right now. And this is really important because this leads into the next game of like, oh, you just have one game away to, uh, to actually move on. Ooh! Oh, mm. no tech. No tech there. Oh. Rico nods to that one. 2 1 then to Sir Shy Guy. But yeah, like they. He. Uh, I, I think he kind of realized that if I, if I had that tech, that could have been my game. Mm. Just, just don't think too hard about it. Go into the next game and just clean slate. Mm -hmm. Don't think too hard that you're a game down. Um, and everything is going to be swell, I mm. think. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what I tried to do. Dracula's cut. Come on. Come on. Go for it. Oh. Awake. Awake. Oh, fair enough. Oh. Hail from the past is a good track as well. Yeah. <laughs> but I like, I like R Rico. I respect you for at least going Drax Castle, my boy. Mm. Pichu. Pichu. Yeah, I think. Yeah, but uh, like he, I, I'm trying to see the similarities of his mains at least. Like why he is actually maining these. Like, if is, is he covering several options with these uh, different mains? But at least with Inkling and Pichu, you do have that like really fast movement that you can just. Uh, utilize in different ways. Of course, they have different Three, options of killing and such like things, but one, uh, he does seem to favor those kind of fast characters, at least in contrast to Isabel. <laughs> yeah. Best of both worlds, maybe. I think Isabel's a little bit more of those, uh, those kind of like tricky, uh, confounding kind of characters, but there's like a lot to keep track of, and you know, there's like, this. Um, a sense of annoyance that comes out of it, you know. Like, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. just, <laughs> That's a good you know, way to describe it. Though. You know, loads of the hip hitboxes coming out, you know, the, anno the, the, the walling that comes with the... Um, yeah, that, comes with, that comes with the slingshot, for, uh, for, for, for instance. Yeah. And I think that's, that's kind of, like, echoed a little bit with, you know, these walls of hitboxes and, you know, this potential combo game, you know? Yeah, definitely. I think that that's one of the major strengths of Isabel, but oh my god, that smash attack. Oh. <laughs> and a taunt as well from Sir Shy Guy. Uh, really feeling it right now. Um, and, you know, we can't forget that Pichu is one of those glass cannon characters where it's uh, now going up into high percentage can still do a ton of damage, so you can't really just uh, forget about that. Oh, he even goes for those. No tech! Oh, now Rick really is in a peculiar situation. He has to take three stocks back and uh, only has one of himself. Ugh. This. Oh wow, a little bit of uh, misinput there, and then this insane work from Sir Shy Guy pulling him all the way down after the down air. Wow, back air, but the up tilt comes out. Rico looking for his first stock still. Can he get it? Oh. Be gone, pocket monster. You don't belong in this world. But for sure, uh, Shy Guy really has to feel confident right now. <laughs> Even goes for that. <laughs> <laughs> special there, but uh, yeah, I think he like if he just stays calm right now, he has this in the bag. Oh, he even goes for those, can't get it that time, but really like the idea. Okay, so again, there's a lot of strength behind this uh, swordsman. She can certainly <laughs> just taking a moment here. Both of them realizing. Oh, this could be it. Very oh. wonderful back air timing on that. Rico is back in this game. It, is, it, is it, however, a little uh, uh, too little too late? Uh, just there's a lot of work to go up against. A very strong little lightning rat. Yeah, oh my god. Rico really is a mad person here, but... What? what? Yeah. Excuse me? That was... Uh... Excuse Those feet were nowhere near. <laughs> what is that hitbox, my <laughs> What? Can we get an analyst in here? I don't uh, please. Can we see those hitboxes? Can we do oh my debug mode? The little foot was just like, I don't know, she was like here, and then his foot was like here. There's uh, there is some interesting stuff. I yeah, mean, hitboxes are a thing, right? And uh, patches are a thing as nah, well. Nah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Not forward tilt, go. man. Yeah. Forward tilt is one of those moves. It, it's just It's such a small thing, mm. like a small little creature, and it's like... Pack some hits. It, yeah, it shouldn't be that strong for how tight <laughs> it is. It it's not even like it, there's like some...